Hello friends, welcome to something new. This is a game of Age of Empires 2. In the blue we have Stavardo playing as the Berbers. And over here it's me, Chap Likes Pizza in the red playing as the Incas. If you are familiar with my channel, all my other games have been combat mission. Well, I recently started playing this 20 year old game, Age of Empires 2. And I thought I would cast it, give it a rundown, because I am so incredibly terrible at this game that it has to be comical to somebody besides myself. So there you can see my little Eagle Scout doing some scouting, which is a, a proper thing to do in this game. After uh, nine villagers, I send a couple over to Wood, and this guy on the right, he goes after the boar, brings the boar back to the town center but I completely forgot about it and the villager dies so it's a very low elo thing to do back over here with Stavardo his scout continues to scout quite a bit as he goes to build houses on his his walls which is a typical arena thing to do and he goes out to start collecting uh, gold down there, just outside of his walls. So this took me a while. I was originally trying to go to the second age with 19 population, but I didn't have enough food. And I still don't have enough food at 24. But at this point I realized I was housed, actually. So I uh, started building the house. Been to my channel before all my other stuff is combat mission but I recently got into watching Age of Empires 2 because of another YouTube streamer called T90 and I really enjoy watching his stuff on his channel he has a lot of really low ELO players that he features sometimes and it's funny to watch them and I figured it would be funny to watch me be so terrible and also I think to myself this shouldn't be this hard and then I just can't seem to do much right. So I'm finally clicking up to the second age. And I thought at this point, you know, it's 14 minutes in. I thought he had done this way sooner and I just missed it, but he still had a minute to go. But you see, I have not done much scouting. So I'm just about to send my Eagle Scout out to see some more. I bring in the upgrades, the, uh, the, the ax and the, the farming upgrade. There goes my Eagle Scout to look around. The problem with, with me in this game is I don't really have any idea on what to do. There's so many options. The reason I picked the Incas is because they get Eagle Scouts and I want to try to do a Castle Age rush. So building a barracks and collecting some gold outside of my walls. I have a lot of villagers and queue, but I'm already 10 villagers behind on them. I don't know how I'm so far behind on villager count. So he's also got some towers. So there's where I see the tower, and I decide at that point I'm going to drop a castle on that tower and that stone. But I forgot to ever mine any stone, so uh, there's going to be a point here in a couple minutes where I'm going to build a castle, and I realize I don't have enough stone. So that will be Disappointing, but typical for my play. So here, you can see my guys up there starting to mine some stone as I click up to Castle Age, and I'm thinking I'm going to take some villagers, drop a castle on his stone miners, and press his town. But look what he's doing. <laughs> so there's my villagers realized I didn't have enough stone. I do see this castle, and I go send an Eagle Scout to try to, to kill some villagers. And I did kill one of his villagers. So he kills my guys. I'm not very good at keeping my people from running into castle fire. Here we can see Stavardo is already bringing in murder holes. Smart for him. I don't even have a university. 
After my castle drop failure, I try to regroup by building a monastery to get some relics and conversions, and building a siege workshop for some rams to try to take out this castle. He sent his army to kill my villagers, which had just finished all that stone. I don't even notice it at this point. Um, as you can see now, I finally notice. Send my guys over. And I decided to drop a castle right there. And this probably was a bad choice. I went to kill his villagers. And I thought my villagers would do better against his spearmen, but I forgot I didn't have loot. And they just died so quickly. I do eventually kill all of these spearmen. And that bowman too. Attacking that tower didn't work out too well. So at this point, uh, Stavardo still only has 45 vills. I still only have 35. I dropped in that Eagle Warrior upgrade in the fletching and send some villagers over to uh, finish the castle. So he, are, he has one relic at that point, and he's going to get some more. And I have two relics at this point. I, I managed to kill both of his monks. One of my big problems, I never look at the minimap, so I never remembered that those eagle warriors are down there. And then I'm bringing in a few more of my blacksmith upgrades and also some rams. I know you're not supposed to trickle treb. Trickle ramming, I'm sure, is much better. I don't remember what my thought process was as to why I only sent one ram in there by himself. I do remember waiting until the ram got to that castle before I sent that monk after uh, the relic. Stavardo has Imperial Age on the way. At this point, I should have also sent those Eagle Warriors onto the castle. Now, I've almost caught up with villagers at this point. I've got 43. He only has 47. Of course, I have seven idols. I have another problem where I end up only building like one barracks and one archery range instead of like four of each. I'm not sure why that is. And this was smart. <laughs> it's baffling. Actually, that probably, they probably just did that when they were starting. They got shot at. And I don't know why I'm not producing more rams or any army. I don't know why I'm not producing army at this point. Again, one more ram. At this point, I only know about one camel, and I sent the monk to convert him, which he was able to do. I didn't know he had so many camels. I would have not sent that one ram. And look, you can see the castle is down to 272, down to 155, and if that castle had gone down, things would have been very different, but it did not. It's symbolic of a lot of this game. A lot of things got very close for me, but uh, were not enough. At this point, it's still pretty close. I have more army than he does, but his economy is always better than mine. I did not know that. And then he has these trebs that come out, and I have no good answer for them. When I see that, I send my big pointy boys after those trebs, but I didn't know all those swordsmen were there, so that turned out not good. And then I get within castle fire range, and all my guys die. So when I saw the swordsmen, I did produce this mangonel, but I need more than one mangonel. And he did a good job of this the whole game. He would advance, leave his guys to guard his trebs, and just crush me. I don't know what I was thinking when I sent this to die. Obviously not a smart move.
don't think my Eagle Scouts are a good option against this. I did send them in to try to kill the, the Trim, but they got killed quickly. So at this point I don't know what to do, and he just has a much better economy going than I do. I'm really worried about this because I have three uh, relics in there. I don't have any way to protect them. Should have gone and grabbed those relics and taken them to the back of the map, but my brain was not considering that at that point. I eventually build another castle, but Stavardo keeps his infantry mask close to his tribs, so that castle also goes down. Stavardo also broke through one section of wall and then moved a monk in to take my relics. I did eventually remember to build another TC and produced another batch of villagers. I actually have more villagers than Stavardo does at this point, 64 to 62, but 16 of my villagers are idle and my eco is under attack. I also had some success with a Slinger and Mangonel combination against his skirmishers and longswords. I did try to focus the Slingers against the longswords, but my micro isn't that great. Here I lose another castle. I once again try to kill these Trebs that are wrecking my town, but I have an army of less than 20, and Stavardo has an army count that hovers around 60. The results are predictable and frustrating. I was able to clear out a couple of waves of attacks, which wasn't completely terrible, but I could never build up any real superiority in army numbers, and with his much superior economy and map control, he eventually wore me down. Here the Slingers do pretty well against the Longswords. I actually started playing Incas after watching the TTL3 quarterfinal game between ACCM and Tato, where Tato was so good with the Eagle Warriors and Slingers. Apparently I'm not quite as good as Tato. Stavardo drops a forward castle as he sends another big wave of skirmishers. I'm actually wanting to mass up some army, but I never have time. It is fun to watch my mangonels crush mashed up skirmishers. I have to celebrate even the smallest victory while ignoring the inglorious death of my monk. I do manage to kill another Treb, but Stavardo's army is massing again for the death blow. I create one more castle and try to build up some military, but Stavardo brings in a cavalry raid that wipes out my eco on my left. Then he destroys my castle. And the little bit of army that I had. And I decide that I've had enough of this stupid game for one night. Good game to Stavardo. A well-deserved victory. Stavardo crushed me in resources collected. 15,000 more than I collected. Our armies were comparable in size until the 40-minute mark, and then his better economy and multiple production buildings engulfed me. He always had more villagers than me. The only thing I was better at was getting to feudal age, and that apparently doesn't help much if you don't have a plan for after feudal age. Thanks for watching. I will be posting at least two more AoE2 videos documenting my journey at the bottom of the ELO ladder. So check back soon to see if I can actually win a game.